felt that it was just my, my truth, it was just being honest. And the thought was, you know, to, to be vulnerable is to be a warrior, it's, it's a strength, you know, to be open. laying bare your life there, were you worried about that? I think the sort of the Irish Celtic part of me, you're always sort of in that melancholic zone and uh, this sort of sat well within that. <laughs> the, the two songs were written in a treatment facility, I went for depression because uh, when we separated I wasn't prepared for it, didn't see it coming and it devastated me. For me, it was um, part, part, partly finding my voice, uh, feeling that I was not an imposter, I really am a musician and a writer. You've got to walk towards the sharp points to feel the feelings. So many people keep so much of uh, their confusion or emotional turmoil suppressed and then don't deal with it. Madness was all about that sort of sense of community and yeah. togetherness. Yeah, it's a gang thing, you know. Do you have any of that now? I think my days of being in a gang are over, um, for the moment. <laughs> One step beyond. What was it like on the inside? Seven real, really uh, unique individuals, seven different voices. Someone said seven people, 21 decisions. Um, it, it, there is a, there is a group consciousness. There's a you know it's the, there's certain songs which epitomise the, the the character of madness. For me, it's all about energy. Madness is an amazing energy. What happens when when madness play live is is quite incredible. Leaving was a bit of a leap of faith. Did it become harder to be political, to make a point with madness? Well, I think the thing that happens over time is, like most bands that have lasted um, a significant amount of years, is that you're not really playing a whole new album, you're playing the hit set, and you're, you, can, you can sort of slot in a few new songs. Look up at the rooftops when you're walking round. You can't help coming up with something which is sort of in that vein. Yeah. Rule by not dead. I'm not a nutter. I'm a mad, mad hatter. Yeah. The album's all about the breakdown of yeah. your marriage and family. Yeah. Do you think both were sort of casualties of your career and? the demands of it. I think that more likely that, that my psychology, I mean I come from a dysfunctional family, I was in a dysfunctional relationship and I'm a dysfunctional band. And the only thing I can change or work on is me. Um, Socrates said the only freedom is self-mastery so I'm really trying to master the self. Oh, 